Wow, something interesting to report on. Tulsi Gabbard growing a pear. Whoa, wait until you see this. Tulsi Gabbard just puts out a video calling the DNC fraud, calling the election a rig. Whoa, shit, now we're talking. Now, now Tulsi Gabbard, now I'm a fan again. Thank you, Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi Gabbard putting out some truth, truth bomb. Oh, my God, look at this. Tulsi Gabbard considers boycotting the debate. The fake debate with 11 knuckleheads on stage talking over each other. <laughs> ah, see, now this is good. See, this is real. This is, this is reality. Uh, this is reality. Let's listen to Tulsi in her own words. I want to thank all of you so much for your support. I need to share something with you that's very important. There are so many of you who I've had the opportunity to meet in Iowa and New Hampshire who've expressed to me how frustrated you are that the DNC and the corporate media are essentially trying to usurp your role as voters in choosing who our Democratic nominee will be. I share your concerns, and I'm sure that all of our supporters throughout the country do as well. Now, the 2016 Democratic primary election was rigged by the DNC and their partners in the corporate media against Bernie Sanders. <laughs> in this 2020 election, the DNC and the corporate media are rigging the election again, but this time it's against the American people in the early voting states of Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, and Nevada. They're attempting to replace the roles of voters in the early states using polling and other arbitrary methods, which are not transparent or democratic, and they're holding so-called debates which really are not debates at all, but rather commercialized reality television meant to entertain rather than to inform or enlighten. So in short, the DNC and the corporate media are trying to hijack the entire election process. So in order to bring attention to this serious threat to our democracy and to ensure that your voice is heard, I'm seriously considering boycotting the next debate on October 15th. I'm going to announce my decision within the next few days. But I just want to say with my deepest and warmest aloha, thank you all again for your support. Wow, that takes a lot of courage to do that. What does it? What does it? Should she, I guess better late than never, Tulsi Gabbard coming out, saying that she's going to boycott. She's going to, she hasn't decided yet. <laughs> she's going to boycott the October 15 debate where there'll be 12 knuckleheads on stage. Now, I don't know. It seems that the argument is going to be, uh, I could tell you right away, the argument is going to be that she's a sore loser. She was losing anyway, so she's just now she's just going to bash the whole system. Right? And there is a legitimate argument in that. That's, this is these things, the things that you're saying now, Tulsi, are the things that you should, should have said right out of the gate. This is a rigged process, and I am engaging in a rigged process because... I don't know, because maybe we can overcome the rigging. Something like that. All right, but now you're, you're messaging, you know, why don't you go into the debate? Why don't you go into the debate and let that be your message? Just uh, bomb the debate. Why, why, do, <laughs> why uh, I don't know, it's just an idea. Why? It's, it's just a great message, though. I fucking love that shit, man. Why not just go, Tulsi, go to the debate and and every minute you get, the, the five or seven minutes that you're going to get, just talk about election rigging, how Bernie Sanders got ripped off, how the DNC's fucked Bernie Sanders in his ass, how Hillary Clinton ran the board, how the election is rigged, how the machines are rigged. Talk about that stuff, right? Talk about, talk about it. Why not, why not use the platform to bomb the debate? Uh, that's just my opinion, but uh, it's just it's brilliant news. It's breaking news. Tulsi Gabbard has grown a pair of something and is now challenging the DNC from the, from the bottom. Uh, she's only, they're only giving her 1% of the vote, which we don't know if it's true or not anyway. Uh, but nonetheless, Tulsi Gabbard gets a, gets a nice gold star for, for effort here. We'll see how it pans out. I, would, I say go for it, you know, Tulsi uh, it would have been more powerful rather than to to boycott it, go right out into the debate and announce it. Announce it when you get your one minute. It's live, right? Get your minute in your opening statement. These are rigged times. 
that the people don't matter, that this is, this is a selection product by the corporate elite. Ah, it's good stuff, man. Marcus Conte reporting.